on it's your girl Tiffany, Metal Malicious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, I do hope everyone is doing well and feeling well. We're going to get started with the overall messages. Okay. So the first message you have here is satanic powers that be. Witch coven rituals. Heartache and loss over what they no longer have. You. Competing, conflicts, fighting, fussing, cussing, arguments, hating, and disagreements. Your entire family is in on the setup. Black on black crime. Our lives don't matter amongst our own kind. Okay, guys. So, uh, yet again, here we are. This seems like <laughs> this is coming out so much, okay? Um, not even just my readings. There's a lot of other readers that this type of energy is coming out, okay? You got... It is amazing how many people around here are in these covens and these cults and these secret societies and how many people call themselves being witches and warlocks and doing spell work on people. Like, these people need to be charged with a hate crime for the shit that they are doing, okay? Because um, they're, they're, they're around here trying to kill people, trying to cause people ill health, um, doing things to sabotage and ruin people's lives in various different ways. This this is this is a hate crime. No if ands or buts about it. Okay, um, a lot of these individuals, um, some of them do some of this, you know, wicked, reckless stuff on their own. But a lot of them are sold out. Okay, they're devil worshippers. They're sold out to the satanic powers that be. Um, and so, you know, this is what has awarded them to be a part of these, you know, these cliques, these clubs, these groups, these secret societies, whether on a lower level or higher level secret society, um, these, uh, these covens, uh, these satanic cults and different things that they are in. Okay. Um, so that's what's going on here. Okay. The satanic powers that be, um, they're having these individuals do some type of witch coven rituals. Um, on you okay they are vigorously like these people are doing spell work like every day okay um you may feel um that things is going on more intensively like around the moon cycles or whatever but these are people who are like doing spell work on you every day who is like wishing you know bad things on you okay these people want you dead they want you hurt harmed all kinds of things and it's because they're trying to get away with the the the, the wicked things that they have done to you the criminal things that they have done um identity thefts uh insurance frauds um theft of of properties inheritance wills trusts bonds like these people are in a lot of crimes they're committing a lot of federal crimes and the only reason why they're getting away with the shit that they are doing is because they are in the pockets of the satanic powers that be so they have persons who are in authority or in power in some type of way that is like uh covering them like these people have some type of handsala that's some type of handsala high priest or or high priestess or witch or warlock that's the head of these uh, satanic cults and witch covens and, you know, gang stalking groups and secret societies and different things that they are a part of, that they are taking their, their orders from, okay? But these people are now in some type of heartache and loss, okay, over what they no longer have, which is you, okay? Which is interesting that this card comes out because it's like, um, they never, these are not persons who loved you, who cared about you, who supported you, who had your back. 
ever more than likely okay um they're in heartache and loss because they can't get over on you because you're no longer brainwashed and dumbed down and under mind control okay they you you're no, you're no longer that pushover okay they can no longer smile up in your face while they're stabbing you in your back okay um you know they can't they can't um get away with the things that they they used to do right in your face without you knowing anymore here okay so a lot of these persons they're competing they're they're competing um with you okay um but there's a lot of conflict even fighting fussing cussing arguments and disagreements that's going on behind the scenes amongst them okay and of course they're dishing hate out at you every day okay um for someone your entire family is in on the setup this would be your mother's side of the family as well as your father's side of the family but to be honest with you all guys this may be the family that that you have always known as your family that you have grown up around your family but speaking from experience these people could not possibly be your flesh and blood okay there's got to be the reason why they treat you the way they do okay um because you could not really be any kin to them okay because i, I swear there's all different like and you know everybody some people have grown up with no parents, okay? Some people have grown up with only one parent. You know, every it's a lot of people who go through things, okay? It's a lot of people who have ups and downs in life and, and struggles and hardships and different things like that or whatever. So it's, it's, it's not to say that, you know, somebody's supposed to have some type of perfect life and everything was supposed to be all peaches and green. No, you know, life happens sometimes. Parents get divorced. Uh, some people raised up by the grandparents. You know, all type of things happen in life. So this is not, you know, um, you know, like one trying to live beyond their means or some shit like that. But y'all, there are, there are families out here. You can look at all different type of families. Okay. Um, and no matter what kind of families you, you look at, okay. You can look at poor families. You can look at rich families. You can look at middle-class families. You can look at, uh, cartel families, mob families, uh, uh, you know, gangster hood families uh you know impoverished uh family you can look at families on all different levels i've never seen such disloyalty and betrayal and hatred like these people are willing to kill you for money and they wholeheartedly want to do this with no sympathy no empathy no remorse they want to hurt you they want to hurt your children they want to get away with the the, the, the crimes that they have committed against you they want everything for themselves and nothing for you at all they you know they would prefer you now i mean and it, it, it doesn't even go it goes farther than that these people don't want you to have a roof over your head they want you to be homeless on the street they don't want you to have reliable transportation they don't want you to even have a mediocre job where you making the bare minimum or living paycheck to paycheck they don't want you to have food to eat they don't want you to have love in your life they're doing things to block your true divine soulmates and partners and different things like they're doing things on vast scales you got some people out here who are literally doing spell work on people's um wombs and things to block them from getting pregnant doing uh invisible spells to make people not even see you or be attracted to you or speak to you or be friends with you they're doing things to to uh make people um not like you not support you not you know all kinds of things it's just it's, it's ridiculous it just it don't stop at however one is trying to get over on you like they're doing so much more and it's come this that that type of stuff comes from a place of hatred and when you think about everything they're doing in its entirety it makes you wonder are these people even your flesh and blood are they even any kin to you how could anybody be a one you know what i'm saying it, it, it's one thing for the government to be working against you. It's something else for complete strangers to dislike you and be working against you. But the very people you are raised to believe that is going to stick together and love you and support you and have your back are the very persons who are opting in for your demise. Like, you know, it makes you question everything. And this is what is going on lately, okay? It's coming out in everybody's readings. This is like overwhelming. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's pathetic. It's, 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 it's crazy. It really is, okay? But your entire family is in on this setup, okay? You may be African-American or of um, some brown shade of skin, regardless to your actual heritage. Um, 
which is the reason why we have black on black crime. Um, our lives don't matter amongst our own kinds, okay? And I specifically made that card because a lot of people love putting a lot of emphasis. Like, you know, people get really riled up when someone outside a colored race happens to kill someone who is colored. But, you know, nobody wants to... Um, to speak on the topic of how many of us you got people who are you know are sacrificing people their own you know killing off their own bloodlines sacrificing their own flesh and blood for nothing more than some temporary comforts for a few incentives for a little money not even enough money to get their asses up out the hood you understand what i'm saying it, it, it's not worth it okay these people people selling their soul they selling their ass they selling out their kids they they selling out their grandchildren they, i mean it's ridiculous for some money for some money but this is what's going on, y'all. This is what is happening, honey. We're going we gonna, to uh, get some further clarification for this situation. But I just wanted to share that with you all real quick. It's just a, it's just appalling that this type of stuff is going on. And, and, you know, I know I'm not tripping because even though I'm dealing with these things in my own life, okay, being a targeted individual and all these other things that's happened in my life that I've shared with you all, I know I'm not tripping because these things are coming out in other people's readings. Folks that I don't know from Adam, that I'm not collaborated with, that I'm not, you know, sharing notes or information with. Now, you know, some of these people, they are scripted. They are sellouts. They are fake readers and different things like that. So they are told what to say and they come on and do some fake readings and throw their slick shots and their wisecracks and, you know, say this and say that, that they, you know, they got scripted. Uh, 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 messages that they have been told to say, but you got real readers out here. There's really good readers out here, both uh, um, uh, Caucasian, African American, and even other races, okay, that I'm not sure of what their races are exactly. So there's a lot of good readers out here, both male and female, or what have you. Um, and a lot of people are picking up on the same energy, okay? And they can these people can be from different parts of the world. Like when you go online, not everybody that you're seeing is in the United States. You don't understand? Just because you're in the United States, not everybody that you're seeing is in the United States. Or if you are, you know... Uh, over in a, in another country or something. Not everybody that you are seeing is in your country. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, but a lot of people is coming up with the same energy. Okay, so it's coming out for a reason. But I'm getting so tired of, you know, it's like wicked, corrupt government, um, satanic powers that be, shady, shicey things going on behind the scenes, setups inheritance stolen houses stolen wills and trusts stolen identities witchcraft uh, uh black magic voodoo being done on people hit mans uh uh you know set up for crimes uh human trafficking and like it's it's the same thing and it keeps coming out in either spirit wants this to keep coming out and wants more readers to talk about this because this is obviously a big ass issue that is 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 happening or 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 something here okay but a lot of people is getting this inf this 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 the same energy here okay so we're gonna move forward with this reading guys i'm trying not to make this too long here to clarify the satanic powers that be we have time and some money here so stop wasting it if it don't make money it don't make sense the satanic powers that be are involved in these type of hate crime for one main specific reason. Now, I'm pretty sure they have multiple reasons, but one main specific reason is money. They make a lot of money off the blood sacrifice of others. And somehow, however they do it, um, they may have, you know, obviously have some type of strategic way as to how they do these things, okay? Um, how they, you know, uh, bribe others to selling out to them. They give them a little incentive of this, that, and the other. And they make a whole heap lot more money off of, you know, people, you know, being sacrificed on a daily basis here, okay? But it's all about the money for the satanic powers that be. Reason why a lot of these people are being sacrificed and coming up dead, okay? So when I clarified um, 
witch coven rituals i get my witchy twitchy card here so of course we're talking about witches we're talking about warlocks uh we're talking about uh, uh devil worshippers sell outs who are into the dark arts okay they're into blood sacrifice animal sacrifice rituals love spells evil eyes a lot of sinister energy a lot of very dark evil anti-matter okay witchcraft spells curses um hexes root work sex magic um you know these are secret societies they're into satanism they're witch covens they're a cult here okay and they come together in in an effort to do um you know they get together and um they chant they do spell work um they perform uh like i said blood sacrifices to animal sacrifices okay um they do various different um rituals okay they even have uh some nights and different things they have sex rituals amongst them where they all get together and they have these little orgy parties and different things together and different things some of these groups do okay some of them are strictly you know based off the you know satanic dynamic of of you know uh, the dark arts part of it and some of it like literally tap off into some other shit like they they really have to um be involved like whatever their handler or whatever the high priest or the high priest requests of them like if this high priest or high priestess tell them to hook up with somebody get close to somebody um who has a child so you can get close to that child because this this high priest is requesting them they they, they want a blood sacrifice to that child they want that child that person is going to do it because if they don't, they'll be attacked. Okay? But if they do, they get little incentives. They get to, you know, run around and, and, and you know, live live life like they, you know, live in large and they in charge and shit. Okay? So they're doing a lot of spell work here. Okay? But specifically pertaining to this, the satanic powers that be, they're having these rich couple rituals done on somebody in particular that they want dead. Okay. These people are gathering together and they are vigorously doing like uh spell work on someone to cause someone's death. They're doing death spells on someone here. Okay. To clarify heartache and pain over what they no longer have, which is you, we have here, um, this is my tarot reader card here. You could be a tarot reader, okay? You could be a spiritualist, a light worker, a healer, a high priest. You could be psychic. You, uh, you could be an empress or an emperor. You can be an empath. You're highly intuitive. You could be a seer, a visionary, a revolutionary, a medium, a prophet or prophetess, okay? But, um... They wanted to control you as long as you was brainwashed, dumbed down, under mind control, and uh, ignorant to what they were doing. They could; these people could have been doing had you under mind control and been doing spell work on you all your life, and you didn't even know. But at some point, where most people don't know, there's something that like shifts. Uh, whether you want to say in the matrix, but definitely within people at the age of thirty. Um, and people begin to wake up at around 30. There's something that they do between childbirth through your entirety of your life, but there's something that happens around the age of 30, okay? And some people go through a massive awakening, okay? And they maybe begin to break from their programmings and different things. Some of them, uh, they be able to like reprogram them and, and put them back under mind control others of them you know they all the way awaken okay and these are a lot of times individuals who ended up targeting individuals especially once you uh speak some type of truth or speak some type of clarity to something that's supposed to be secret or hidden or forbidden knowledge or something like that or what have you okay it's like the moment that they realize that you are awakened you instantly become a targeted individual okay they start hacking you tracking you um stalking you harassing you illegally invading and violating you um your human rights your civil your constitutional rights okay they make life a living hell for you okay and what they do in the midst of all of that they every once in a while try to bribe you into selling out like this will stop if you you know we can make this stop if you sell out to us you know what i'm saying but you're selling your soul and your ass to them and you'll be forever indebted to them and as soon as you not what they want you to be or you want out they will set you up to kill you it, it, it's just it's a lose-lose situation 
You understand what I'm saying? So to clarify, competing, conflicts, fighting, fussing, cussing, arguments, hating, disagreements, we have trouble in the mind. A lot of these people are, the reason why they're having a lot of conflicts and fights and, and, and arguments amongst themselves here, because something that they've had going, going on has either been exposed in some type of way, been found out in some type of way, or something is not going as planned, okay? Something is causing them a problem or stress or disappointment or loss, uh, depression, sadness, anxiety, layoffs, breakups, worry, concern, okay? There could be a lot of different things, but some of these individuals are beginning to have trouble in the mind. Like this is beginning to, to concern them, to worry them on another level. Most other people, they've been, a, uh, been able to take out by now in some type of way or set up in some type of way. To clarify, your family, your entire family is in on the setup. We have the moon here, okay? So we know that the moon talks about secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark here, okay? Your entire family is not only in on this setup, but they are in on every bit of the criminal activity that has been going on, okay? And on the decisions that has been made, okay? They've been sneaking and creeping around, doing a lot of things behind your back, okay? They're a part of the witchcraft. They're a part of the rituals that's being done on you. They're, they're part of the plots, the plans, the schemes to set you up, to sacrifice you. As a matter of fact, those of them in your family who are sellouts, who are a part of these witch covens, satanic cults, gang stalking groups, secret societies, they are under contract. They have taken oaths and they have offered your name up as a sacrifice, okay? as like a promise to, you know, these deities, these entities and deities that they serve, okay? To clarify, black on black crime, our lives don't matter amongst our own kind. We have here the cold-blooded killer death card here, okay? Somebody is a cold-blooded killer, okay? Whoever this person is, uh, is somebody of your own race here. This is somebody who is a patsy, who could have been, who is a part of... The Coven, the cult, the secret society or gang stalking group. This is a hitman. This is whoever they recruited to come and do you bodily harm, okay? To to kill you. Like this person got bodies. This person has caused somebody's murder or death before, okay? This person carries with them Grim Reaper energy. This person could be male or female here, but they are cold blooded killer. They can send this person to get close to you, to drug you, to poison you, um, uh, to attack you, to uh, physically assault you, uh, rape you, um, onto your death, uh, shoot you, you know, anything here, okay? Um, this is a cold-blooded killer here, okay? So that's what's going on here, y'all. That's what's going on with the situation. Very sad, unfortunate situation at that. To clarify the satanic powers that be and time is money, I get wealthy man, official person, as well do I do poverty. They're making the money. These satanic powers that be are sacrificing people who are in poverty. Okay. These are wealthy men and women in power as well as these are official persons. These official persons are government uh, persons who work for the government, okay, who hold some type of structure, organization, leadership, or uh, uh, um, uh, some type of position, type of role, or a title or role within the government in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? And these wealthy elites um, are persons higher up in power here, okay? Um, that a lot of times these official persons may be getting their orders from or may be getting their payments from to so turn a blind eye or to go along with the setup of this, but they're making a lot of money off of setting up people in poverty here, okay? To clarify which coven rituals, we have a community here. So there's a lot of people in your community who are sellouts, who are part of these covens, these cults, these gang stalking groups, and these uh, secret societies here, okay? These people are gathering up. You see how this almost looks like some type of little function or something here. They got old people there, young people there, middle-aged people there. They got people of all ages who is a part of this, okay? And, um, these people get together and they do these rituals, okay? And they've been doing, uh, different type forms of spell work but they've been trying to do some death spell on someone here okay but this has them in concern here okay 
this has them in concern okay and this is the reason why they have their um are in heartache and loss over what they no longer have, which is you. They're in concern. You see that 33 at the top of the deck? You see how this person's hand, one hand is over his mouth, but with the other hand, he's resting it on the arm of the chair. But if you look at his fingers, he's throwing up the Baphomet horns, but he's holding it downwards here, okay? He is a part of some type of secret society, okay? He knows some type of truth, the clarity that he can't speak out about here, okay? They're in concern okay over what they no longer have you're somebody who's a privileged lady who's supposed to be a privileged lady or a privileged man here okay they are in concern about you okay as well as your occupation something that you do for work or a career or a hobby or something here okay they're they're in heartache and loss over uh, what they no longer have which is you because they can't control you anymore they can't manipulate you anymore they know they can't lie to you they know they can't fool you they know they can't trick you here okay and this is the reason why they just want to sacrifice you and take you out okay these people are treating you like you are a threat unto them or something okay to clarify, competing conflicts, fighting, fussing, cussing, arguments, hating, and disagreements with trouble in the mind. The reason why these people are dealing with trouble in the mind because we have courthouse here. There's been some type of legal situation that is going on, some type of legal matters. You see how this person is walking in this courthouse with this documentation? This is fraudulent documentation, falsified documentation, forged documentation here. Whatever is on this documentation here, they're trying to change something they were trying to change something or take something or steal something from you here and they have been these people you may they may have paid a doppelganger to play like they were you they stole your identity they falsified documentations they came for you in your name, okay? They did a lot of things, and they've been doing a lot of things in a court of law. And satanic, the satanic powers that be, there's persons in power, in government, and wealthy men that has been backing these people. Persons in your family and other persons who they have recruited to, to go along with this here, okay? But the reason why there's been competing and in, in, in conflict and fighting here because something pertaining to this courthouse matters here. There was something, some type of change, something changed up or switched up because of some type of adjudication here. So I feel like there was some type of decision that was ultimately made. It may not have gone in their favor or the way that they had liked if some type of truth or clarity came out about something they was lying about or or trying to hide from the courts or something but your entire family that's in on this setup both men and women alike as you see here on this false person card they're false persons they're they're fake phony fraudulent untrue they're liars cheaters deceivers manipulators con artists they're just as fake as they come okay they can't be trusted like i said your family they're trying to steal something from you with the thief card being here okay yeah, to clarify, uh, black on black crime, our lives don't matter amongst our own kind. We have family room here, okay? Um, this higher hit man, this person may be somebody that's one of your family members or something like that. Okay, or somebody who was hired or recruited by by your family or, or this could be a friend of the family, someone who is actually your family members or something like that. Okay, but this person is a cold blooded killer here. This person is a part of this coven's cult secret societies gang stalking group and they was paid or recruited to to harm you here. Okay, they're trying to. Um, they're trying to get some type of money. We got unexpected income and coffin here, okay? So they want to get some your 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 family trying to get some type of money off of your death here. They also stole some type of money. Something, whatever they've been in court about, this may have been about um, this could be insurance fraud they're trying, they're trying to get away with. There could have been someone else that passed away and left something from you. This family stole it from you and the satanic powers that be that they sold out to have allowed them to do so if they offered you up as a sacrifice unto them, okay? Um, you or your children here, okay? But this is the reason why they're in concern because they have not been in, they have not been successful with sacrificing you here, Okay? 
but they they were allowed to steal some type of inheritance from you. There's been a lot of back and forth going on in the court of law. This means that they had lawyers in on it. They had judges in on it. They had the uh, um, the, the, the people from the insurance company in on it, persons in government in on it, wealthy persons in on it, your family in on it, and all other type of people that was aware of this, okay? That your family stole this unexpected income here from you. See, this is what they're trying to steal from you, but they're also trying to gain even more money. See, they're greedy and they're materialistic. It wasn't enough that they stole some, they committed insurance fraud to steal some type of inher inheritance or something or insurance policy from you. They Somebody even has a fraudulent insurance policy out on your life. They have want to offer you up as a sacrifice so they can get even more money here. These are selfish as individual spirit is saying. Okay, that's what's going on here, y'all. And these are the same type of people who will literally, they, they don't have the balls to come and say anything to your face, but they talk about you like a dog behind your back, okay? And, um, but behind your back, they make you seem like the problem. They make it seem like you, they make, make it seem like something is wrong with you, yet they the ones who's committing federal crimes every day. They're the ones who is doing evil and wicked things by doing spell work on you every day. They're the ones who is wishing death upon you. They're the ones who want to sacrifice somebody for money, okay? But yet they, every day, they try to make you out to be the problem. They make you out to be the issue. But they're too pussy to come and tell you to your face. Yeah. See, these satanic powers that be with haughtiness here, these type of individuals, they're arrogantly superior, okay? They full of themselves, they stuck up, they bougie, they narcissistic, they possessive, they controlling, they're manipulative. These are lords, they're persons in power, authority, or of influence here, okay? And they do, they sacrifice people for money here in a whole lot of money, fortunes of money, okay? And they're the ones. When these people sell out, this is the what motivates them to sell out, okay? These people in power, they're the ones that's running, ruling, controlling everything behind the scenes. They're the ones who got the loop like that, okay? And can pay people off to, to, to do this, to do that, and, and all this other crap here, okay? With these witch coven rituals here, they have literally been sitting here waiting in anticipation, okay, for you to get hurt in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. They've been waiting um, to get the call that you that you are deceased here, okay? But they're in heartache and loss over what they no longer have because they're, they're concerned because they can't control you anymore. You're somebody who's a sweetheart here and they're trying to cause some type of misfortune in your life, Spirit is saying, okay? Yeah, all this competing and fighting and fussing and cussing and the, the court situations and a change that was made here, this has something to do with some type of theft, okay? I told you they were going back and forth um, to court to steal something, a gift that was left for you here, okay? As well as a house. Something has to do with some type of money as well as something has to do with a home. Your entire family is in on a setup because they're sellouts. They're in service. They're working for the enemy. They're working for the satanic powers that be. They're helping them. They're doing a job for them here. Spirit is saying that they are the enemy. They're working for the enemy. You got service and enemy here. Your entire family that's in on the setup, they're working for the enemy here. For what? Money. Okay? To clarify, black on black crime, our lives don't matter amongst our own kind. We have pleasure seekers, okay? These pleasure seekers, they do shit for their own amusement, their own enjoyment, their own liking, their own ill will, their own benefit and desire here, okay? They they want you dead, plain and simple, um, and they were recruited to do so because they're nothing but servants. Servants perform duties for money. They're sellouts, okay? They're working for the satanic powers that be. These individuals are also foes. These are your enemies. These are your ops, okay? These are your opponents here okay they don't like you they don't for you okay they don't love you care about you or nothing here okay they're gonna get paid for performing some type of duty taking you out here because they pleasure seekers this is how they live their life here okay Forget the fact you're family or close friends or lovers or whatever your relation to these people who are involved in this this is what's going on y'all this is what's going on. This is what they did not want you to know. 
and they grow they grow more and more frustrated with the fact like if you do know about this and you speak up for yourself and you express yourself and you speak out about this they grow more and more and more angry with the fact that you speaking out about this that you are letting people know that they are satanists that they are devil worshipers that they are in secret societies that they are doing black magic and voodoo that they have tried to sacrifice you that they have tried to sacrifice your children that they're trying to kill you for money that they have killed others for money that they have uh, uh stole your inheritance that they're committing insurance fraud they don't like you saying that shit they don't like you saying that shit because you got to understand these are the same people who parade around everybody else like they righteous and upstanding and pillars of the community some of them may act like they christian some of them may act like they just righteous and you know they do no wrong and they good people and different things but behind the scenes they secret witches and they secret Satanists and they secret devil worshipers and they secret sellouts, okay? They into a whole lot of shit in secret. They they into blood sacrificing and animal sacrificing and human traffickings and all type of shit. See, they don't want nobody to know that. Spirit, clarify uh, powers that be. Clarify the powers that be. Look at this sacrifice here. Okay, I told you these satanic powers that be they want you sacrificed here. They get a, a, a lot of money somehow by sacrificing people in poverty and getting their family to sell out. See, I see awareness here. You are aware that these things are going on. Spirit, clarify uh, which coven rituals. Which coven rituals? I see the waiting game here. They're anxiously waiting in anticipation to get the word that you have been, you know, rushed to the hospital, that you severely hurt, that you are uh, deceased or something like that, okay? I guarantee if anything was to happen to you at home, 911. See, everybody is on alert and know that you are a target individual. If you was to call 911, they're liable to take the, the, the phone to probably ring forever, They'll take their time answering the phone, okay? And then when they do dispatch the call, they'll take their time coming to get you, to get you an ambulance. They'll take their time getting you to the hospital. And if you get to the hospital with any type of life-threatening injury or anything like that, the doctors, the nurses, they're all in on it. They'll be, they'll be paid off to give you something to go ahead and kill you off. So we clarify heartache and loss over what they no longer have. Heartache and loss over what they no longer have. This is causing, see, because your third eye chakra is open here, this is causing obstacles and challenges for them. So this is the reason why they feel in some type of way. They in mental conflict. This is the reason why they're competing in the, con in the conflict and the fighting, the fussing, the cussing, the disagreements, the misunderstandings here over these legal situations, these court situations, because they um, they try to, to steal this, uh, 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 commit some type of insurance fraud to steal some type of money in a home, a gift that was left from you for you, okay? Yeah, and now they're having to deal with some type of financial and material changes here over this. Some type of truth or clarity. They may have got caught up in some type of way with that. Or either if they did, then they did get away with stealing this from you. You are speaking out about this. You are making awareness to this. And this is this is raising, you know, an eyebrow with others. And then maybe having some others to check on something, to look into something. And they realize that these people actually did lie, okay? Because these people could have told the people, you know, told people that you was dead. They could have told people, they could have, you know, paid a doppelganger to, you know, a lookalike to go in and look like you to assume your identity. They could have stole your identity in order to do that or what have you. They did a lot of things. Okay. They could have went to the courts and told them that you something was wrong with you. You was incompetent. I don't know how somebody who live on their own, who take care of themselves and their own damn children and pay their own damn bills could be the fucking competent. Ain't on no kind of medication, ain't on no drugs or no alcohol, no nothing. Could be the fucking competent. But, you know, they'll say anything to try to get their damn way. So you got people, some of y'all got folks like that. They've been trying to make you out to be crazy your whole life when you wasn't. When it was then. All along. So your entire family, they full of deception and envy. Okay? They full of deception and envy. They're jealous and intimidated and, and envious of you. Yeah, 
black on black crime our lives don't matter amongst our own time kind excuse me they have recruited someone hired someone a hitman or something to cause some type of conflict or defeat in some type of way shape form or fashion these people are part of partnerships and alliances here i told you they are in these secret societies these witch coven um uh groups here and things that's what's going on here y'all okay they wanted to call something, something hasn't happened though, okay? Because they wanted to cause some type of conflict and defeating your life to take you out in some type of way. But something, there was some type of disruption. There was some type of disruption in some way, shape, form, or fashion as it relates to this situation here. Okay, guys? So that's what's going on here. I do hope that this is giving you the information and the communication that you are seeking pertaining to a situation that you might be dealing with or a situation that someone else may be dealing with. If you'll be so kind to y'all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you don't mind, it's a free way of supporting. Um, so whether you like or dislike the video, do one or the other, guys, okay? Like, share, and subscribe, please. clarify these satanic powers that be what's going on with these satanic powers that be they're the ones who's ordering like who who is giving these people these orders to, to do some type of spell work on you okay to keep attacking you in some type of way shape form or fashion okay but those of them who's doing these rich covering rituals they're in mental conflict okay because of conflict that they're having of 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 succeeding you know in taking you out in some type of way here okay yeah these people want to ultimately betray you here okay they have all um teamed up together to stab you in the back until your death here the ten of swords talks about betrayals disloyalties endings here okay yeah look at that death here Ten of Swords, death. Spirit, clarify these conflicts, competing, fighting, fussing, cussing, arguments, disagreements, misunderstandings here, okay? We got the Eight of Swords here. Some of these people could be feeling stuck, restricted, unable to move. Some of these people could be at risk of going to jail or prison uh, for, for things that they've done. So like I said... Um, with this court situation, this legal situation, whatever it is that they tried to steal from you, they committed a lot of federal crimes, okay? First of all, you're talking about identity theft. You're talking about forgery. You're talking about falsification of documentation. You're talking about perjuring yourself in a court of law. Uh, you're talking about insurance fraud. That's five different federal crimes right there, okay? Um, not to mention um, premeditated murder, okay? Hiring of a hitman, uh, uh, to, to, um, or uh, hiring, what do they call it? Contract killing or some shit like that or whatever. These people have committed a lot of crimes against you. They all teamed up against you here, okay? Something got exposed. Something got exposed here, okay? And it could be causing these people some type of burdens, hardships, and problematic situations here. This is the reason why they so vigorously want to, uh, and you wants to take you out in some type of way. Yeah, something definitely has to do with some type of will here. They want this will to go in their favor, but some type of truth or clarity has come out. This is the reason your family's so defensive. Okay, now they feel like they need to protect themselves. Now they feel like some type of sacrifice needs to be made. And this is the reason why they're sticking and creeping around behind the scenes, behind closed doors, trying to sacrifice you, trying to take you out. But it's really stupid because anything happens to you, anything happens to your children, all the evidence is going to lead right back to them. Okay, it sure is mighty funny that the truth and the clarity will come out about everything that they've done to you and then somehow you mysteriously come up dead and somehow they think that they're going to get away with all the money and different things that they stole from you and not to mention that but your death wouldn't be planted on them and then they think that they're going to get money off of your death too they got to be some of the stupidest criminals that i ever known in my life but this is what they're thinking this is what they're thinking Okay, these people are jealous of you, they're envious of you, they're in competition with you, they're competing with you, okay, but they went to the crossroads and they made the decision that they wanted, they, 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 were, they, they were still motivated and terminated uh, 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 to taking you out in some way, shape, form, or fashion here. They want to cause some type of tower in your life to bring about, bring something, a, a completion of something, an ending of something here, okay, yeah. 
Because these people, they, they in sadness. They in loss here over this situation here. They mad here, okay? You got the Ten of Cups. This is your entire family here, okay? And these individuals have partnered up with each other. They have teamed up with each other, okay? Got emperors here. These are persons in power, persons in authorities, persons in leaderships, persons who are high-ranking and in power, okay? Who is behind this. Spirit is saying this is the truth. This is clarity. I feel like you could even be speaking truth and clarity here. This is what they don't like. They don't like you speaking truth, okay, and clarity. This is the reason why they want you gone, okay? They chained to the devil. They sold their soul to the devil, and the price was cheap, okay? And they've been exposed, and they don't like it. So they're all up in their feelings, and they're all up in their emotions now, okay? There's a lot of swift, fast communication, messages, news, information going back and forth, okay? Three of swords, heartache and heartbreak and pain and sorrows and miseries is what they wanted to cause you here. Spirit is saying, all for the love of money. All for the love of money here, okay? Yeah, they heartbroken over this legal situation, over this, 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 this court situation here, this justice situation here, okay? Yeah. They wanted to get away with this uh, with this money here, okay? But some type of judgment or decision that was made and they come to find out uh, uh, the truth and the clarity did come out. When some type of judgment or decision was made, it was found out that there was lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking, and creeping around trying to get away with stealing this uh, Ten of Pentacles from you, your own mother is involved here there's a lot of people involved you got a king of pentacles as well as a knight uh or excuse me a king of pentacles as well as a king of wands okay or sign uh masculine fire sign masculine involved okay you also got a water sign masculine that's involved here you have a fire sign uh uh, feminine that's involved here you have a air sign feminine that's involved here Okay, you have someone who is a higher fan. This person is an ordained minister or someone who's a pastor or or, or, or holds some type of position within the church here. We have the king uh, air sign um, masculine here as well. Okay, all these people collaborated together for the purposes of money here to take out you because you are high priestess, because you speak the truth, because you bring clarity. Okay to a situation here okay they didn't want this page of cups to get some type of hope wish or dream come true they didn't want they didn't want some type of hope wish or dream come true for you or your child okay yeah so they abandoned you they left you out in the cold they left you hanging they left you with a lack of support a lack of help and a need of assistance okay they also did things to sabotage your job queen of cups they did things they abandoned uh they abandoned you they did things to sabotage your job. Page of Swords, they spreaded gossip, rumors, and slanders about you. Okay? They love fly monkeys. They had they love fly monkeys to spread all type of gossip and rumors and slander about you to keep people from dealing with you, but would uh, for fooling with you uh or or anything here, okay. But really and truly, these people are jealous because you are a star, because you shine bright just like the star that you are. Spirit is saying here, okay, a change is going to come, though, with the Eight of Cups here. There's some type of shift or change that is going to come, okay, as it relates to the situation. And you're going to be able to move on to Karma Waters here, okay. Um, you also could be stepping into some type of success, triumph, victory, or public recognition, in some way, shape, form, or fashion here. These people worked hard. They worked vigorously hard, okay, to get this money. It's all about the money with them. They didn't care about anything else except for money. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. All they care about is money, okay? It wasn't enough that they tried to steal your inheritance. That they tried to, that they tried to steal your house, okay? Somebody, somebody could be living in your house, and they shouldn't be. A house that was left to you. The truth and the clarity. There was a judgment that was made about this, okay? There's a queen of pentacles, okay? Earth sign, uh, feminine, who's involved in this. And well, there's a whole lot of people who's involved in this, okay? They did things to sabotage your employment, to sabotage your money, Okay? They stopped at nothing. Your family stopped at nothing. 44, to hurt you here. Four of wands, four of swords. They stopped at nothing. 
to cause you great bodily injury and pain here. Okay? Yeah. Your ex-lover, somebody that you was lovers with, they received an offer. And they took that leap of faith. They received the offer of the Six of Pentacles, a gift of generosity to turn their back on you. And they took a leap of faith. They took that gift of generosity and they turned their back on you. And they worked with your family against you. They worked with the Satanic powers that be. They sold, they sold too. You got another water sign that's involved. You got several water signs that's involved, several air signs that's involved, several, several, um, Earth signs, this, but there's a lot of people here, bro. There's a lot of people here. A lot of people. Okay, guys. But that's what's going on here, honey. I'm not going to give this any more energy because I'm, I'm I'm tired of it. Okay. It don't get no simpler than that. Okay. So I hope this gave you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to the situation that you are dealing with. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond 36 or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add three six diamond as always guys take care of yourself take care of each other but most of all take care of your baby honey remember this is a wicked wicked world that we live in there's wickedness in high places and there's evil just lurking around each and every corner even in a neighborhood near you so y'all watch your surroundings watch the company you keep watch the surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well and consider the fact that you never know who may betray you backstab you try to hurt you or harm you honey keep you some protection on you y'all stay awake stay aware stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you Stay ready. You ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.